Fewer people are planning to travel for Thanksgiving this year because of the pandemic. AAA estimating a 10% drop in travel. About 50 million Americans will travel for the Thanksgiving holiday compared to 55 million in 2019. But whether you plan to stay home or travel for the holiday, there are some precautions that we want you to consider. And Dr. Jennifer Permesia, an infectious disease specialist at Virginia Hospital Center, joins us now to discuss how to approach the holiday safely. Good morning. Good morning. As we make that choice of whether or not we should travel this holiday season, what do you think should be the starting point? What should we first consider? Well, there's no individualized approach to Thanksgiving this year. It's really about a personal risk assessment. The first question to ask yourself or is, do I or do members of my family have risk factors that would place us at an increased risk for complications for coronavirus should we fall ill? And if the answer to that question is yes, then the safest course of action is really to have a virtual Thanksgiving this year. Oh, it just sounds so cold, <laughs> but uh, it is something that we really need to look at. Let's talk about people who are thinking, well, some people have to, you know, they feel that they have to travel. Should they factor in quarantining as part of their plans? Well, certainly that would be safer, but if we look at the calendar, we are now less than two weeks out from Thanksgiving Day. So ideally to quarantine, we should begin that 14 days in advance of our travel or start it uh, 14 days in advance of the travel, get to your destination and then quarantine for an additional period of time. So. It's a little bit late for a full quarantine, but we do the best we can. Any way we can reduce our risk moving forward is a good thing. And how do you feel about being tested? Should we pursue a test before we leave home? Um, testing can be a benefit. So a positive test tells you that you have coronavirus and you should stay home and then you will not spread the virus to others through travel or when you enter someone else's home. So that's a benefit. A negative test is a little bit less helpful. The problem is that a negative test tells you that you did not have coronavirus on the day that you were tested. In subsequent days, you can still develop coronavirus even if you're asymptomatic and you can still spread the virus to other people. So it's still important to mask and stay socially distanced, even if you have a negative coronavirus test. In terms of modes of travel, what is the safest way to approach this? So in the era of COVID, any means of travel that reduces the maximum number of touch points you will encounter and the maximum number of other people you will encounter is the safest means of travel. For most people, that's going to mean travel by car. However, if you're stopping for gas frequently, if you're stopping to buy food, if you're stopping at crowded rest areas, those are all factors that increase your exposure to coronavirus infection. So it's really important to plan accordingly, pack appropriately, and minimize the number of stops if you do plan to travel by car. And once we're in that small gathering with our family, what do you recommend? Sure. So that's very important. So the CDC recommends that if you have two households that are mixing together, both of those households should keep their masks on at all times, except when eating or drinking. Then when it's time to remove the mask and enjoy the Thanksgiving dinner, each household should be seated at separate tables at least six feet apart. Certainly outdoor dining is safer than indoors if the weather allows. If you need to take the gathering indoors, then you wanna recreate the ventilation of an outdoor setting by opening doors and windows. Good advice. Dr. Jennifer Permesia, thank you so much for that. We appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. And moving on.